hey what's up everyone dragon royce here so today we're going to unbox and review this figure from mesco toys yes you're right this gambit from x-men so let's go ahead and take a look at the box so it has two box the first one is this outer layer so this is the front side of that as you can see there's a big x which is the symbol of X-Men and his name and the line which is 112 and this is the left side of the box and the back shows uh, some pictures of the figure and this is the right side of the box so let's take this off and look at the actual box Whoop. 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 so this is the actual box that you will get inside the package so this is the front there's a window where we can see the figure inside and the accessories included with it and I'm so excited to open it up so this is the left side of the box the back of the box this is my first mascot figure so i'm not sure what this is maybe this is the symbol of mesco and this is the right side of the box and the top which says 112 collective post plate display so let's open the box here I think this is where we are supposed to open it. One of collective figures are built on a high articulated under body and then cast. But the above guidelines should be considered in order to keep your 112 collective figure in the best possible condition to enjoy for many years to come all right so nothing at the back so it comes with a plastic so this is the actual figure inside all right just let me just fix the lighting for you So here we go. Feels different unboxing this figure compared to my SHF collection. So I'm really excited for this figure. Shout out to GoFig TV. He's the one who sold me this figure for a decent price. Subscribe to his channel by clicking uh, this. Grabe, ang ganda ng quality. Super. The quality is really awesome, as you can see. Focus. Damn. So before we go to the accessories and play with that, let's go to the actual figure. Oh, I was expecting this is uh, way more thicker, but it's actually very soft. And obviously, there's a wire inside, so you can post the cloth, the, uh, what do you call this? Trench coat. Yeah, I think uh, this is called a trench coat. So the quality is really nice. Feels like, uh, it's like a leather but i'm not sure if this is really a leather so the outside feels like a leather the inside is a silky uh, kind of cloth and it comes with a belt here I'm not sure if you can actually connect the belt actually you can but there's no hole to lock the belt so it's just dangling there 
little more up close uh, here we go damn the details are really good sulit sulit so this is really worth your money if you want to get a gambit figure I think this is a must have but I'm also waiting for Mayfex Gambit I'm not sure if it's already been released but I don't have it yet it's supposed to be arriving last April so the face is really really good this is really well designed and well sculpted really nice just too bad that we don't have an up crunch here I think it, they should have made that possible with this design they can just put this as separate pieces instead of one piece so this is bluish in color uh, let me just focus that at first I thought this was actually silver but I think I have the right lighting so I what you see on the video is what I see in person right now so it is like the uh, usual bluish color that we see so it is not silver it is bluish kind of metal paint that's really nice so it's pretty similar with the Marvel Legends Gambit so this is the bottom of the shoes we get two holes for the base I think so we have a base right there the hands he has gloves he's wearing some kind of gloves for the articulations let's start from the head of course uh, it can rotate 360 degrees with no issues you can look down just like so, not that much. But you can look up very far, so that's fine. And you can go side to side, just like this. Really nice, and it is coming off. So don't uh, over bend the head. So just like so. So that's fine with me, but I think they should have done better with him looking down, but that's not a big issue. The big issue here is the up crunch is non-existent, so you can't really make some up crunches. So for the hands, I've seen some reviewers uh, take off the this trench coat and they can actually do 360 degrees it can go up far but due to the clothes it's just up to this so you have as we have read from the manual don't overextend or this will be ripped so it will ruin the uh, cloth so just do like this so this uh, as far as he can go and elbow joint I think we can go further but I'm not gonna force that so the cloth is limiting the articulation and we have the hand you can move 360 degrees and I'm not sure if it has a hinge joint I think so yes it has so same with the other side limited at the elbow point so very similar for the hips I'm not sure we can really rotate this but it seems that we can yeah so that's just like this like this I'm not gonna force that or anything I don't want to ruin my first Mesco figure <laughs> All right, so for the hips, can it extend? Yeah, I think uh, that's fine. So he can't do. If I, I think he can do a perfect split, but because of the spandex or his 
uh, costume uh, it's limiting the articulation so this is the cons of having a realistic figure a realistic version of a figure because it will limit the articulations and like with sh figure words you can do as much as anything that you can think of for the knees you could bend like so again this is limiting the articulation but i think it is double jointed inside and can still go further if not for the costume so that's fine with me for the uh, ankle joint so we can rotate it 360 degrees and it has some kind of hinge joint I'm not sure if there's a toe articulation no there is no toe articulation so it is not it doesn't exist all right so as you can see it's very handsome napaka pogi ng figure to they really did a great job with the head with the face rather so let's put some shadow because the light is casting white reflections so that's the face i really like how he looks about the eyes yes it's pretty good really nice the hair is so cool i think it can be better with some darker shading on the inner portions and linings of the hair but it's not that bad really nice hair mold hair uh, sculpt here
Again, it's a red skin.